Good Monday, makers. It's time for another Community Build Roundup. And spoiler alert. <laughs> Get it? Spoiler alert? There's a spoiler this week. Okay. We've got a lot of great builds. As always, you guys are doing some really cool stuff. Let's jump right in and check them out. First up is this build from Kevin. It's actually a couple of builds. And we sat down with Kevin and did an interview and talked about all the details. And he shared all kinds of really great information for people wanting to build trellises of their own for their garden. And we'll briefly go over it again here. And if you want to you know, find out more, definitely check out that interview. But as you can see, he's got these raised beds. And he built two different trellis designs based on the plants that he was growing in them. This first one we called the vertical wall trellis because it has this wall in the middle of the bed and he you know, did some really clever things to secure this in the bed. Uh, he did some wire that goes down. You can see a little bit there maybe. I don't know if you can see it close up in the picture, but basically wire goes up, wraps around the pipe and then goes down on both sides and then secures to the bed with a uh, eye hook, which is really smart. And on the outside of the trellises, he's got these tomato cages that he built using, or he made them using cattle panels. And basically you buy those and they're panels, you know, they're flat, usually I think like four foot wide. And basically he took a two by four or a piece of wood and basically folded the cattle panels and just kind of did like a, an incremental fold and then made a box out of them, as you can see here and then secured them to the verticals, which made this, the, the structure more sturdy. And then also gives these cherry tomato plants a place to climb and uh, trellis on, which is really cool. So many great things in these builds. Definitely check out that interview, like I said. Uh, but then he's also got this, uh, I think, hardware cloth secured with metal zip ties to the frame. And this is for, I think, some pea plants that he's got. And then the same thing over here. I think he said he's got some kale and lettuce that it's growing. And he's got some... Uh, um, some netting hanging down there. And then this other design was more of a universal design in terms of uh, like if you have a garden bed and you just want to build a basic structure to add some trellis netting to, this is a really great way to do it. You can use 90 degree connectors in the corners, basically make a long rectangle as you can see here. And then depending on the length of your bed, if it's like four foot or maybe six foot, you could just do 90s, 90s, with pipes in between them, just make a box and secure it to your bed. But if you've got anything longer than that, you can basically just use four-way connectors in the middle and you can basically just extend this trellis as wide or as long as you want by using that method. You just have 90s on the outside and then everywhere that you want to add another four-foot section, you can just use four-way connectors and you can just do that pretty much forever and build a trellis that way. So we called that more of a universal design. And there's so many great things in here. He shared a ton of pictures, and like I said, check out that interview if you want to see more in-depth information because he shared a lot of valuable information uh, for people that want to build trellises of their own. So thanks again for Kevin for doing that interview, and uh, it'll be linked down below if you want to check it out. Next, we've got a build from Stacy, and this is really cool. This is a go-kart, and like I said, spoiler alert, <laughs> because they made a spoiler for this go-kart. As you can see, looks really awesome, looks really fast. Uh, I love go-karts, one of my favorite things. Um, and you can see here that basically they used adjustable angle connectors just attached to the go-kart frame and they just go up and then it has the spoiler attached and everything. And it looks like there's some kind of, uh, braces that attach to the back of the seat. I'm sure just to add, you know, more rigidity to it and secure it in place there. So it's working out great. looks awesome. And you can see that the diameter of the spoiler, um, the kind of braces that came with the spoiler were a little bit smaller than what were, uh, than what the connectors are designed for. So he looks like he shimmed the gap there. I'm not sure if it's the shim that we make or if it's some other solution, but you know that is something to keep in mind if you're working with something that you already have and it has a tube or a rod or you know a pipe that is similar in diameter, you can usually shim down the connectors. We've seen people use everything from electrical tape to hockey tape to PVC and all kinds of different things. So keep that in mind if you ever need to shim the adapter or you know shim the gap of the connectors to something that you're working with. But this is really cool and uh, a really smart way to, to be able to add the spoiler. And you can just undo the hex bolts and take it off if you need to. So really great. Thanks so much, Stacy, for sharing that. Really cool to see. Next up is a build from Ron. And this is a van ladder that he built for his work van. He said it's holding up great. 
He said, the connectors are a fantastic product. We, we really appreciate that. And he said, if you buy a ladder, they're anywhere from six to $800. And he built this one for less than a hundred, which is always cool to see. We love it when people can finish their build uh, or their idea or get what they need and save some money in the process. But you can see here, looks like he's got conduit attached to the bottom of the van. We saw somebody recently do this where they adapted a mount for a one of, one of those expensive ladders that you can get and they adapted it to conduit. Uh, I'll link that video down below if you want to check it out and see how they did it. But I imagine they did something similar here and basically just bent the conduit up. It goes all the way up to the top and then secures to this uh, you know, roof rack they've got on top of the van. Same thing on the other side. And then adding rungs is just as easy as getting T connectors and just you know measuring between them and adding the steps or you know the pieces of conduit to be able to create those steps. And then it looks like the whole thing is just painted black which looks nice on the side of the van. Looks like a total of two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 T connectors uh, and about $3 a piece, $3.34. You know, that comes out to what? Like 50 bucks or so for T connectors and then conduit, you know, looks like probably just two sticks for the outer rungs and then each of the individual ones in between. So maybe three, four total sticks. So yeah, that is about less than a hundred bucks. So that's great. And he was able to finish the ladder and he said he's had it up for over a year and it's holding up great, which is always good to hear with something like this. You know, we want you guys to build safe and everything, but thanks Ron for posting that. Really cool to see. Next up is a build from James and he said this is his first maker pipe build and it is for a dance company and it's mobile frame stations with a curtain. And apparently they're doing, you know, some kind of dance production and they needed these and they look really awesome. He did a fantastic job. You can see here, these are all the different carts. Basically it looks like they use casters and some wood to make the base of the cart. And then they built this kind of pedestal that people could sit on and apparently stand on and they even jump off of them, I think at some point in the show. And so they built this you know, main frame for that, but then the back, uh, this curtain is being held up with maker pipe and conduit. As you can see here, here it is without all of the other props attached. And they've got flanges to add the verticals that go up, T connectors to connect the pipes between them. Looks like 90 degree connectors there. And uh, then they just added the lights around the verticals. They've got those really nice shiny red curtains on the back. And all in all, it just looks fantastic. Did a really awesome job. And he said, uh, needed to be strong for the dancers to stand, stand and jump on the middle seat and hold on to the outer frame. He said it worked great, but now he has to drive them to Orlando. <laughs> That's always fun when you volunteer for a project like this. Seems like you get roped in and you have to do a bunch of stuff, but I'm glad they turned out great. And I'm glad you're happy with them because they do look awesome. So thanks so much for sharing that. Really cool to see. Next up is another garden trellis, and this one is from Massalini. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. And she did a fantastic job with these. They are so awesome. You can see here, I guess it's just one trellis, but looks like she's got these two kind of barrel garden beds with plants in them. And basically she built uh, a arch that goes from one barrel to the other over this walkway that you can walk through. And then they just added some of the fencing material on the outside so the vines could climb up and it came out so pretty. Looks really awesome. And I really like this here. You can see a close up. They kind of join the two halves of the arches together with the couplings, which is a good thing to keep in mind. Instead of trying to bend one continuous arch, which is kind of difficult, you can just do two halves and then connect them in the middle. And you can also see here that they're using some kind of that, I think it's, is it twill? Is that what it's called? Uh, to basically secure the, the netting on, which is something to keep in mind. I've never really thought about using that for something like this, but it makes a lot of sense. And I'm sure that's just some of the green kind of vinyl chicken wire or just some of the fencing you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot. And uh, just looks really awesome. And the plants are already climbing on it. And it looks like it's working out great, which is really cool. So thanks so much for sharing that, Messalini. Really great to see. And I'm glad it's working out well for you. Thanks, everybody, for posting your builds. If you want to see any of these in more detail, they'll all be linked down below. Thanks, everybody, for watching. See you in the next video.